Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. In terms of dates, we'll be going from the 4th of November up until the 10th and we'll first look at a couple of games that have crept out without being in one of these videos for whatever reason and then we'll move on to the week at hand. So which games are coming out for the Switch this week? Well, let's find out. Let's begin with a couple of games that are already out then, and the first is Alien Hominid, the Extraterrestrial Bundle. Now Alien Hominid is a game that came out in the early 2000s, I think it was a Flash game to begin with, then released on consoles around about 2004, and it's a run and gun game by Behemoth. This bundles together a HD remaster of that original game, as well as what I believe is a new game called Alien Hominid Invasion, itself a reimagining of that original game which includes co-op, couch and online, as well as a non-linear progression system. You can buy both games separately should you wish, but it's just easier for me to highlight the bundle version, and they both released a few days ago on the 1st of November. Also already out then is World of Horror, a one-bit roguelite RPG adventure inspired by Japanese horror and H.P. Lovecraft. In this game you'll be solving mysteries by using a number of different characters, each with their own traits, and it plays out almost like an old text adventure or choose your own adventure game for the most part. Its art style was drawn using Microsoft Paint and it has that early home computer style about it. I've been playing this game recently and having a lot of fun with it, it just released digitally on the Switch, although if you want the physical version you're going to have to wait a bit longer. That releases in the first week of December. Let's move on to the games coming out this week then, and the first of those is Super Double Dragon. This game first released for the Super Nintendo some 30 years or so ago now, and in this new release you can change the borders of the background with five different wallpapers to choose between, and you can also adjust the speed of the gameplay going up to double speed. It's playable with up to two players locally and you can turn on or off friendly fire. I always turned it off in such games and this is a very good Double Dragon game it must be said, selling for a very good price of just £5.35 or your regional equivalent. To go along with that we have Double Dragon Advance. Releasing on the same day of the 8th and selling for the same price, this game takes favourite stages, weapons, enemies and moves from the previous games and puts them into one package. I must admit I've never played this Game Boy Advance version of Double Dragon, so I'd be interested in picking this one up, and I believe actually there is a collection coming on PlayAsia which has these two games and possibly a few more actually, so I think I'll hold off and I'll import that. Great prices here on the eShop, if you do want that PlayAsia version there is a code down in the description as well as a link where you can get yourself 5% off of your order. Next we have Cobalt Core, a sci-fi roguelike deck builder where you must give orders to your crew by playing cards. It may be that you need to raise shields to protect your ship, dodge incoming missiles, or strike preemptively to disable your enemy's weapons. It has what it calls a single axis take on tactics combat with hundreds of cards and split upgrade paths, meaning no two runs will ever be the same. Each character comes with a completely unique playstyle and their own personal story, and you can mix and match their decks to see how that affects the gameplay. It's another game that releases on the 8th of November and it will sell for £17.59 or your regional equivalent. We also have Virch Evermore Era Salvation coming this week from Axis Games. This tells the story of a small island where the people born there have a curse that leads to them dying at the age of 23 owing to their lungs ceasing to function. In order to combat the rapidly shrinking population the powers that be manage to create a super technological advancement that allows them to clone someone's memory and body in the process called re-life. The blurb goes on to say that a watchman appears to the girl known as Death and guides her to uncover the mysteries that haunt the country. Now there's not a lot more said to be perfectly honest on the blurb and I have looked up a few different websites to gain a bit more information about the game without really having learnt much more and the trailer is a cinematic one that doesn't give much away in terms of gameplay. The premise at least sounds interesting and if you know more about this one than me then please do feel free to put it in the comment section but this one releases on the 9th and it will cost £44.99. 
Next we have Spells and Secrets, which calls itself a family-friendly co-op roguelike action adventure game. You play as a first year student of the magic arts, arriving at the Academy of Griffenstein. However, a strange incident on your first day throws the school into turmoil. It's up to you to save the ever-changing castle and rescue your lost schoolmates. You'll need to use spells creatively to fight off magical creatures, explore the school grounds and uncover the castle's secrets to reveal the mystery surrounding it. You can create your own character and the game is playable with up to two players. This release is on the 9th and it will sell for £24.99 or your regional equivalent, but there is 20% available off of that price up until the 15th of November. Then we have Flooded, which calls itself a reversed city builder in which you need to optimize your production on an island that shrinks over time. It goes on to say that the waters have risen to an alarming level, having merely a handful of places habitable. You are the leader of a small group of survivors and are tasked with extracting resources in order to construct an ark and move to a safer location. You'll be gathering resources, building upgrades and developing new technologies as the world shrinks around you and there are a variety of defensive structures to fend off hostile neighbours and pirates. It says you can explore nearby islands with diverse biomes and there is a story mode, a quick play mode and an endless game mode. I like the look of this one actually, it's very interesting to me, definitely has that classic SimCity look to it, albeit as it said, almost in reverse. This is another game that's out on the 9th and it will sell for £11.69. The penultimate game for the week is Air Twister. This is a new rail shooter game created by arcade developer Yu Suzuki. You take on the role of Princess Arch and must help defend her homeworld, Air, from the large scale invasion by Vanguard. Now Yu Suzuki was behind a lot of Sega's early arcade hits, including Space Harrier, which of course played very similarly to this in terms of that rail shooting experience. And just like that game, you will encounter a large array of diverse and creatively designed enemies and challenging bosses, according to the blurb, with various kinds of weaponry power-ups and special moves to unlock after every run. Definitely one to keep your eye on, I would say, especially with Yu Suzuki at the helm. It has an interesting art style to it. Looks a little bit like the Sin and Punishment game that came out for the Wii some 15 or so years ago. Another great rail shooter, by the way. And this one releases on the 10th for £19.99. And finally for the week then we have Claire Extended Cut. This tells the story of Claire who after visiting her sick mother takes a wrong turn and stumbles into a dark passage of echoing doors and abandoned rooms. This leads to adventure as Claire tries to find her way out and she'll meet a number of characters along the way. It's a blend of modern and retro pixel art techniques according to the blurb creating a 2.5D world with a panic based horror system that reacts to your decisions and Claire's panic levels. There are multiple endings to uncover based on your choices and a new enemy is available exclusive to this extended cut. This could have perhaps done with coming out last week just before Halloween but there we go. It's releasing on the 10th and will sell for £13.49 or your regional equivalent. So there we have it, another week of Nintendo Switch releases. Do any of these games interest you at all? Will you be picking any of them up? Please do let us know in the comment section below. The two Double Dragon games certainly interest me, but like I said, I think I'll buy that bundle from PlayAsia when it releases. And the Air Twister game also looks very good. Don't forget, if you are looking for eShop credits to pick any of these games up, you can get your eShop cards from our website, switchup.gg. Doing so will earn you 5% back in cash back off of your purchase price to use against a future purchase, but you'll also get a further 5% straight discount if you use the code SWITCHUP. There's also that link down there to Play Asia that I mentioned. Use the link below, use the code STATED, and you'll get yourself 5% off of your order from there. A quick thank you to our patrons and our channel members for your continued support, and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care, and until next time, happy gaming.